Hi, this is Flash Johnson, and today we're going to look at the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. The pen tool is the most important tool in the suite of tools in Adobe Illustrator. It is the foundation tool for the whole program. It is a vector editing tool, and it is probably the most complicated and the most misunderstood tool, but once you learn how to use it, it will be your biggest friend and you will be able to do most anything that you would like to do in Illustrator. So to begin with, let's take a look over here at the tool palette because it's kind of important. The pen tool does not work by itself. The pen tool is actually composed of many other tools, including the add anchor point tool, the delete anchor point tool, and then the convert anchor point tool. It also uses the selection tools when you're using the pen tool. So you have the regular selection tool, which I call your, uh, your object selector, and then you have your direct selection tool, which I call the open arrow, and then you have your group selection tool. The last selection tool that you select is going to be the one that comes up when you invoke the quick key for the selection tool when you're using the pen tool. So the one that you want is the direct selection tool. Okay, So you have to set it on this one first and then you come over here and you click on your pen tool. So here's the general pen tool. You click once, you insert a point onto the stage. You come somewhere else, you click once, and it inserts another point and it draws a line from the first point to the second point. Very simple. You continue it on, and click again another point, click again another point, click again another point, and you can even and should come back to the very end, and they join with the last point, and you click, and now you have a closed path. You have an object. Now, that is how you draw straight line objects. And those are what I call corner points. Each one of those points is a corner point because the line going into it goes a different direction than it comes out of it. So let's look at another feature of the pen tool. Click your point, click your point just like before. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to add curves to the line. We still get a point. I'm going to click, but I'm not letting go. I click, and then I drag. And when I drag, I drag out the handles. And these handles are controlling the line that is being plotted from the previous point to the point that I'm controlling right now with the handles. You see, as I move it around, how that line is going to be laid out. And notice that those handles are not the point. The point is right here. These handles are control points that control the line coming in. Notice how this anchor and this line right here is being controlled by this handle. See, it's pulled out this far. Now watch, I'm going to hold control down and I get my selection tool that I was talking about, the last one that you selected before you chose the pen tool. Okay, That's holding the control down, gives you your quick selection tool. I'm going to grab the end of that point and I'm going to pull it out. See, as I pull it out farther, it pulls the line out farther. It's pulling, it's, it's like gravity, pull, pulling it out farther from this point. And then it has to come back and go to that point that it came from. Okay, so now I'm going to continue. I'm going to come somewhere else. I'm still in edit mode. I didn't deselect the line, so I'm still in edit mode. So I'm going to click and drag again, and I get another curve. And that is making another uh, what I call tangent point. So this point right here is called a corner point in my vocabulary, and this point right here is called a tangent point because this is a corner and this is a tangent. And the difference is, is that this point, the line goes in one way and out another way, so it's a corner. This one, the line comes in one way and goes out the same exact way because those handles Watch as I grab them. I'm going to select the point. Control is down, so I got my anchor. My, I'm sorry, I got my selection tool, and I click on the point. So now both of these handles are showing, so you can see what they look like. Now notice when I move them, they move together like a teeter-totter. They move together. 
So that means it's a tangent point. Now this over here doesn't have any handles coming out of it, but even if it did, it comes in one direction, goes out another. That's a corner point. This point here is a tangent point. So when I move the handles on a tangent point, they move together. Now there is another feature to this. When I let go of control and I hold down the Alt key, I get the Convert Anchor Point tool, which I call the Breaker tool because it breaks the relationship of the handles. Now watch, I hold it down and I grab it and I break that relationship. Notice that the other handle did not move with it. Now that I have broken it, I'm going to let go of Alt and I'm going to hold down Control and I'll go back up here and click on the point so that we can see the handles are not pointing in the same direction anymore. They are no longer connected. That relationship has been broken. But even though this point has lines going into it in a curved fashion, they go into it one direction and they come out another. So this point is a corner point. This point is a corner point here. And even if I put these lines out here and I make it look like it comes out exactly, that's still considered a corner point because when I grab it with a normal selection tool and move it up and down like that, the other handle is not joined to it. So that is a corner point because I broke that relationship using this, I'm holding Alt down now, using this Convert Anchor Point tool, which I call the Breaker tool. Now, if you have a point like that that's broken and you want to reestablish those handles, you just take the, the Breaker tool and you click on it and it removes, I didn't let go, it removes the handles and you then drag out new handles and they have that relationship restored. See how we do that? I'll do it again. I'll come over here and I'll click once. It'll break the relationship. Okay, I let go. Now if I click and drag though, I drag out new handles. And then I let go of Alt. I get my selection tool back and then I can grab that handle and move it up and down. And then both handles move and the lines going in and out of that point are moving at the same time. Okay. So I am still in edit mode for the pen tool because I never deselected the line. Now if I deselect the line like this, if I click out here, I, I've deselected that line, that path, I'm no longer in edit mode. So if I were to go use the pen tool and start clicking, I'm drawing a new path now. But I don't want to do that at the moment, so I'm going to hit delete once. It deletes that point I was on. Hit delete again. It deletes the rest of the path. Now I'm going to go back over with my control down. I'm still in the pen tool and I hold control and I get the selection tool and I'm going to click once on the path it reestablishes that as being selected but I'm not in edit mode yet until with the pen tool I come over that last anchor point and you notice that on the bottom right of my mouse that little line is there which means I'm going to reconnect the line in edit mode I click on it once I'm now in edit mode you see that the the uh, mouse has changed on the bottom right of it and so I'm back in edit mode. If I come over here and I click again and drag I am re in edit mode. See that? I'm in edit mode again. Now notice that this point right here is a corner point. See this? It has a handle on one side only. The other side doesn't have a handle. So if I wanted that to become a tangent point I would hold down Alt, let go of Control, get the breaker tool, drag it out, reestablish my handles, and then I can let go of Alt, hold down Control, get my selection tool again, and then I can move it around and control the lines going in and out of that point. So whatever I need, I have access to it immediately with my quick keys. My Control gives me the selection tool, my Alt gives me the breaker tool, and then there are these others, if I come up here to the tool palette again. Remember the add anchor point? Remember the delete anchor point tool? Well, those are also in the pen tool. You don't ever want to go to these because they're in the quick key. So what you do is you you uh, just roll over it. So notice when I'm off the path that the mouse just has that asterisk by it, but when I roll over it, anywhere it can put one, it now has a plus on it. If I click once, it puts a point in there and then I can go and grab those handles. Now if I roll over an existing point, there's a negative, which means if I click, that's the one that removes an anchor point. So if I click on that, 
it's now gone. Okay, now I'm going to make sure I'm still in edit mode by coming over here and clicking on that last anchor point, and then I'm going to just continue on. And notice that that became a corner point, so if I want that to be a tangent point, I click and drag on this. But if I didn't, then I just leave it the way it was. And normally when you draw a path, you're normally drawing a shape, so you would close that path. Sometimes you're not doing that, but most of the time you are. And you would draw whatever shape you were trying to draw. And if uh, you had some sort of a template that you were tracing, then you would just trace it out using those techniques I just showed you. And you can draw anything you want to if you understand those principles. So just as a refresher, let's go back over. You need to make sure that you select the last selection tool that you want to work with. And when you're working with a pen tool, you want to have the direct selection tool as the last tool that you uh, touch for the selection tool. So you select that one, and then you come down to the pen tool and you select the pen tool. And then you are free to come and draw whatever it is you want to draw and manipulate and add points and move things around and break those handles or get rid of those handles like so and then you can draw anything that you want to draw. Okay, I hope that helps you get a better understanding of the pen tool. Play with it, get used to it. Remember the control invokes the selection tool and the alt invokes the breaker tool. Okay, have fun.